So you're looking for information on flight schools in Canada and want to kind of have a comparison of the prices and different factors between the schools? Let's talk about how we can find out about that. Hello my friends, welcome back to Late Departure. I'm Adam and this is my continuing journey to become a commercial airline pilot. As a lot of you know, at the beginning of my journey, I was researching different flight schools, trying to find the best one for me. And it was really difficult because there's not a lot of information out there. And a lot of the information that you find on websites is not really good, especially when you go to different flight schools, they have various estimates. A lot of flight schools, they, they give low end estimates on how much their flight training will cost to give you the idea that you're going to be able to go in there and uh, oh, it only costs $11,000 to do your private pilot's license on one website and you go there with $11,000 and it turns out you actually need $14,000 or something a lot more. And so I was really tired of this. I hated this kind of, you know, getting these random estimates across all these websites. I just wanted to compare flight school side by side. So I started a spreadsheet and this spreadsheet, I can definitely not take credit for almost any of it now because I did start it, but we have amazing people in the aviation uh, study group discord a whole bunch of amazing people who have done so much abs like just an amazing job just blown my mind uh they've gone in and a whole bunch of people uh i i, I feel kind of hesitant to mention names of people because i don't want to leave people out and i'm sure i probably will but i uh, just people like san kelp and sid max and uh, lakshya and and you know so many just amazing people who have been helping out with this oh Mandatory plane break. Oh yeah, getting more often now. Aviation is bouncing back now in the world, so <laughs> it looks like a great thing to, to make a career in. I'm happy I came back to it at this time, but I digress. So of those people, I'm sure there are a lot more people who are contributing to that table and I thank everyone for it, but that table is becoming an absolutely amazing resource. And what we've done is we've taken one specific standard for private pilot's license, commercial pilot's license and ratings and things like that. I've made a formula based on the standard and what we've done is we've plugged each flight school's numbers. And for a lot of the flight schools, uh, we've had to email them, we phoned them, we've talked with them personally to find out what the numbers are for the rental rates and things like that. One thing that a lot of flight schools don't do is also they don't add taxes onto it. So we've made formulas that calculate the cost of the training for each of the programs, so private pilot's license, commercial pilot's license, multi-IFR, things like that, plus tax, plus all the extra costs that they don't usually tell you about. So one thing that we've been doing is finding out what the fuel surcharge, and for those of you who don't know, a fuel surcharge, to my understanding, is when a flight school, they charge an extra amount to cover the expensive costs of gas. And some schools, you know, can be pretty cheap, like my school, it's about $7. Uh, there's some in Boundary Bay where it costs more than $20 for a fuel surcharge and that is added on to every flight, right? So it means that the numbers that you see typically on the website are not including that. You don't usually see, I think only a few of the flight schools actually included fuel surcharge. So our spreadsheet has all that information. So it calculates how much you'll estimatedly pay. I'm not sure if estimatedly is a word, but uh, how much you might pay based on the numbers that they give, based on the standard that we have that is basically applied across all of the flight schools. And what you see when you look at that table as well is that the cost actually isn't that different. So really what it comes down to for the most part is, you know, talking with students, getting some good reviews, finding out that the school is pretty good, finding out that they have good instructors who will take care of you. And of course, finding a good instructor is another huge thing. And I plan on doing a video sometime over the next month on that as well. But long story short, it's an amazing resource. Please uh, come to the Discord. The Discord link is in the description below. Come to the Discord. 
come check it out. Come, uh, we have the link pinned in the Discord to the spreadsheet. Go to the spreadsheet and uh, give it a read because we have schools now listed all over Canada. If you don't find the school there that you want to see the information for, find the information and email it to me or bring it up in the Discord and we'll put it in so you'll be able to see a calculation based on how much it might cost. All right, so that's it for today. Once again, thank you all for joining me here on my late departure. Always happy to have you along. Really look forward to seeing more of you come in and uh, achieve your dreams in aviation. I am so happy, you know, that I can do something. I always want to do something. Whenever I do research and find out more about whatever I'm passionate about, in this case, flying, I'm always so happy to share that. And I'm also so happy that we have such an amazing community now in our International Flight School Search channel there. Uh, just a bunch of absolutely amazing people. Even if I'm not there and you want to ask a question, ask a question in that Discord. And people who have heard my answers or even have answers of their own are more than happy to reach out and help other prospective aviators. And as this channel grows and this community grows, I just foresee we're going to have an amazing place for anyone who wants to learn how to fly, to come learn about different flight schools and find the best option for them. So I hope you guys are all having an absolutely amazing day. Stay healthy, happy, and safe. If you're flying, fly your best, fly safe. Have so much fun up there. And as always, remember, it's never too late. See you next time.